Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do my January wrap up. And in January I read nine books. So yeah, so I read nine books in January, and but only two of them were from my specific January TBR. I did start and work on everything that was on my TBR, I just didn't finish everything. So for the first book I did finish in January is Ancillary Mercy by Anne Leckie, and this finishes off her Radic trilogy, where we follow Breck, who is a ship ancillary from a ship that has been destroyed. Since this is the third book, I don't want to go into too many details. It's a continuation of Breck's journey of trying to thwart Anander, the ruler of Radak. And I just really like Breck. I find her, or find it, to be very wholesome. And I, I like how this story ended. I thought it was really, it was a really good way to say what they're going to do is not ended, but we're no longer going to talk about it or we're no longer going to follow Breck. It leaves it open to some more stories in that universe. And I, from what I understand, she does have a book coming out in that universe, so I am excited to pick that up. And I would have been very happy to read more books about Breck and to find out, does she succeed in her goals? Or does she succeed in all of her goals? She is definitely made some interesting choices and I think everybody should read this series. This is a great space opera and I think it's a good place to start if you're if you're newer to space opera as well. So the second book I finished in January was The Emperor's Wolves by Michelle Segarra. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I did do a review which I will link on the screen. Um, this is a spinoff of her Chronicles of Elantra series following Severin Handred. And this was a book that I really enjoyed because I really like Severin from the first book. Or Severin, sorry. I think I'm switching the R and the E. Severin. I do suggest if you're going to read this book that you read at least the first book in the uh, Chronicles of Elantra series, which is Cast in Shadow. It follows a different character named Kaylin, and I think the background history with her and Severn is better seen from her point of view. And as she's working it out before you go into more of his headspace. So for the third book that I finished for the month of January, this book actually counts for my buzzword-a-thon. It has the word dream in the title. It was not the book I originally planned on doing, but that book, it, it turns out I wasn't going to be able to get it in time to read it for January. So I had to choose a different one. And that book is Dreams from Many Rivers by Margarita Engel. And this is actually a collection of poetry, which I did not know at the time when I picked it up. But it is based off of people who have existed um, in the history of the Americas in, well, in the recorded history of, Amer of the Americas that we know so far. And it's written from the perspective of the indigenous peoples and their perspective of everything that is happening. It was a very interesting take. I am not a huge poetry fan, so I did not rate this on Goodreads, even though I marked it as I read it. I didn't rate it on Storygraph either. I'm, I'm doing both of those this year. I do think it is a book that people should read, if, especially if they're wanting to see another side of the history of the United States. Now, the fourth book I finished in January was on my January TBR, and that was Persephone Station. Again, I have done a review for this on my channel, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. I really did enjoy it, and it was a world where if Stina does write more, I will be very happy to read more in her universe. Even if it's not set in Persephone, if it's set on a different world, I'll still be happy to read it. But I would definitely like to follow these characters more, if that is possible. But it has been written as a standalone, so there at this time is no specific sequel for it. Alright, and so for the next four items, they are all connected. I've been hearing different 
booktubers talking about One Piece, the manga, and it wasn't something that I originally was planning to read. And I thought, well, why not, since several people are going to be talking about it in the upcoming months, I'd, or have just recently talked about it, I'd like to know a little bit more about it. So I read the first four volumes in that series. And so far, it looks like that series has been about a four star for me. It's I've enjoyed it, but it's not like mind blowing. So it's been a very it's been a very solid, interesting story for me, and I look forward to continuing the volumes. So yeah, that is my January wrap up. I know it kind of seems pretty fast. I realize I didn't say for my ratings. I gave Ancillary Mercy a 5 star, love that series. I gave The Emperor Wolves also a 5 star. This just barely actually made it, because there were some issues in the story for me. But I, overall, I still really enjoyed it as well. Again, I did not rate uh, Dreams from Many Rivers, because I am not that familiar with poetry. Would not have been fair for me to rate it. Persephone Station, I gave 5 stars, and then all 4 of the volumes of One Piece that I have read, I gave four stars. If you have read any of these books, I'd like to know your opinions as well, so please leave me a comment down below. Have a good day.